Hey guys, sorry about the weird angle. I just um, want to talk to you while I am mixing up my snack um, for this afternoon. Well, not this afternoon, I guess late morning. Um, and it's just my Greek yogurt with the apples and grapes. I'm almost out of Greek yogurt. I just got new grapes yesterday, so I'll go to the store and get the yogurt. I really like it. I did get some granola stuff to put in it as well. But even though it's like healthy stuff, it's a lot of calories, so I have to be careful when I do add that. And I added calories to my breakfast already this morning, so I won't add it yet today. Um, and sorry that I've been slacking. Look at me point the knife at you. Um, slacking at posting my videos and stuff. I just, I wasn't happy with the ones that I had done, and I don't know. They just kind of felt... Blah, I guess. And then yesterday I was going to upload one. I had it already and then I did not get to it. Um, but hopefully we're working on getting what I call real internet at our house. Because right now we just have our Verizon data plan and you can't do a lot of video stuff with that because it eats up the data and we share it. So that's why I have to do it at work or go to our library or whatever. Um, but yes, so for breakfast, I did, um, my regular one egg and six tablespoons of egg whites. And then I added, um, two slices of sandwich style Canadian bacon and maybe a third a cup of spinach. And then I put my eighth of a cup of Mexican cheese on that. And I want to make sure that I'm full so that I'm not tempted to eat that fish when we get it today because I already told Travis one that I was going to bring it home for him to have for supper and then that way I can cook my salmon and salad because this is all leading up to, I told him, I basically have a week to lose four pounds. Realistically, do I think I'm going to lose four pounds? I don't know. I really don't know. I don't want to say yes, no, probably not. I think I can. Just because... This whole month has kind of been a struggle for me for some reason. And I think it's just, I think you just get into a plateau and you start to get comfortable with that, even though you know you're not making the best decisions. Um, so when I weighed in this morning, it was 171 even, um, which is 0.6 less than last week. So I should be happy, but I have mixed feelings because, you know, I had a goal to lose five pounds and we're almost at the end of the month. And I know that I could have done better this week had I made better decisions and that's all on me that's totally my responsibility and so I will take responsibility for that um and you know it still is technically a loss so I can't really be too upset um you know you just got to take it and and keep going it's it's not all about the scale and if you know I take one thing away and can pass it on to somebody else from this whole experience is it's not all about the scale. I I am adamant that I want to get down to 147 was the goal that I had set originally in the beginning. Um, just because that's in a comfortable spot on the BMI chart. Um, and I feel that that will look good. And, you know, gaining muscle is going to affect my weight, but I should still easily be able to be 147. Um and a lot of it, I, I do think, is in my, my belly, my midsection. And a lot of that is in the kitchen. Um, you know, they say abs are made in the kitchen. And it is true. You can do a million sit-ups. But if you don't eat right, it, the fat from that area is not going to go away. Um, so I, I really want to do well. And starting on a Friday night or Friday, I guess, is how it is, is how I'm going to do it. You know, I already have my plan. I have my breakfast made and ready. Um by lunch. I'm not going to eat that fish. I'm just going to bring it home for Travis to eat. I'm going to do my Shakeology for lunch. Um, you know, I have my morning snack. Um, I might make a protein cake for snacks this afternoon. It kind of depends on my calories. I'm going to have to count those up. Um, but, and then tonight I plan on having salmon with green salad. Um, which is just like romaine lettuce, basically, um, with some shredded carrots and stuff. And um, I have a ton of frozen vegetables that need to be steamed 
in the freezer. That's my goal. My goal to get to as close to losing four pounds this week as possible is to work my ass off, literally. Um, totally up my veggie intake um, with my meals. And if that means taking carrots for snacks, that's what I'm going to do. I told Travis about getting that roast out, and I still think I'm going to do that. It's just you load up more on your carrots and a little bit of potato and a little bit of meat and have a salad with it, a huge salad. Um, and then it's not bad. You're still getting a delicious meal, and it's not, you know, you. I weigh and measure stuff. When I get serious about it at night, like I am right now, getting back to tracking consistently, um, I weigh and measure everything. And, yeah, it's a pain. Yeah, it takes extra time. But it's worth it in the end. So that is my plan. That is my goal. Um, yeah, I feel I feel pretty good still. I mean, you know, I'm not I'm not where I thought I would be at the end of October of this year. Um, I still I kind of was thinking this morning while I was doing my workout. Um, God, it's getting later than I thought it was. Um, by Christmas. If I can have lost a total of 50 pounds from last Christmas, 52 pounds, sorry. I I will accept that 100% happy. That's a pound a week and that's healthy. And even though with how my size when I started, it should be more than that, a pound a week is plenty healthy, plenty fine. Um so yeah, I'm going to have to figure out what 52 pounds from my starting weight was. Um but yeah, that's kind of where I was this morning. And this morning was just a, a weightlifting thing. And as I was doing that, I did kind of notice, oh, sorry if that's loud, um, that it is only a half hour of workouts. It takes me longer than a half hour just because I have to switch my weights with every exercise. But I really do think that I need to start adding some cardio into those days, whether that's go for a run or even just a walk. I mean, that's not like high intense cardio by any means, but it's still extra movement. Um, to just really boost things, to get things going again. I mean, I'm, I'm still losing consistently that I can see, but since September 20th, granted I've, you know, gone up, gone down, gone up, gone down. But since September 20th, I weighed 172 even. And now it's October 25th and I weigh 171. A pound in a month doesn't make me happy, even if I am lifting weight and working. But like I said, I just have to take my my education that I know about it and, and apply it and just keep working. So this got to be a really long clip. Um, I don't know if I'll check in at lunch because I got to do a lot of phone calls um, and errands. So I might just upload this right away this morning. Um, and if you get anything extra, you get something extra. But I hope you guys have a good Friday and a good weekend, and um, I'm going to try and do better with telling you guys exactly what I'm eating. Like, if I eat a candy bar, I'm going to tell you, because guess what? I had a mini Hershey's bar last night, and I did. I was needing chocolate. But I need to stop doing that. When I need chocolate and I think that, guzzle a glass of water. Something. I mean, you don't have to deprive yourself all the time, but when you're sitting here in a plateau like this and you're wondering why you're not getting anywhere, and you look back at all those little... Milky Ways, cookies, stuff. If you would have taken all of that out, I guarantee I would be further than I am. So even though I'm trying to keep it realistic because I'm not going to give up candy for life, I'm not going to give up cookies for life, I, I do need to cut back. And and cut back makes it sound like I have them every day. I don't. I just, I just need it to be realistic. And that's what I'm doing. And I think that's why it's taking longer than a lot of other people's results that are doing this. Um... But I'm trying to keep it realistic because it's life. This is a lifestyle. Um, it's not just a diet that I'm going to go back and then gain 20 pounds and then have to go back and lose 20 pounds and then gain 20 pounds and lose 20 pounds. I'm not going to do that again. That was irresponsible and not very smart. So, like I said, have a good weekend. I'm going to go because I'm going to end up being late and darn it. Um, so, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.